so I'm going to scroll down the instructions list and you can see in counters we have a counter folder I'm just going to use the up down counter and just click it onto the network somewhere okay let's drag a bit further down okay so here's the up down counter the pins themselves the first pin is a reset the second pin is count up the third pin is direction changes the count direction and we're not going to use the fourth pin uh, I don't know what that pins for but anyway so we're going to add some contacts into our ladder logic program so I'm going to add three make contacts or three normally open contacts so normally open contact one or input one and there's a normally open contact and that's input two and a, another normally open contact and that's input three okay so I'm going to wire these to the power rail okay so normally input two will be our counter so our counter will count up when input two goes true our normally input one will be our reset input and our normally open input three will be our change of direction okay so I'm going to simulate this ladder logic so I'm going to in the menu in the sub menu I'm going to click on sim that will start the simulation and as you can see we have the three normally open contacts the bottom and you can see next to the counter there's a number uh, a a zero number which is how uh, the number for the counter so it's counted up zero times at the moment so to trigger the counter our input to our normally open contact input to must go true so if I set that input to true you can see the number in our counter has increased to one so I'm setting normally input to back to false and every time I set no input to to true it will increase the timer by one so one two so as you can see as I'm setting that input to true the count up is the counter is counting up nine ten and if I wanted to change direction I would set input three to true and you can see that's true at the moment so to count in the other direction input 3 needs to remain true and we will then again trigger the counter which is input 2 but it will change direction so I will trigger input 2 see it's gone true and you can see our counter is counting in a negative direction so I'll trigger again drop to 8 trigger again drop to 7 and so forth now to reset your counter you would need to trigger input 1 and set input 1 to true so I'm going to set input 1 to true and you can see the counter has reset to 0 now as an example of where you may use this in industry it may perhaps be a proximity center or a, a, a laser center uh, counting bottles on a bottling line so every time a bottle passes the proximity center it would force your counter to increase or decrease its value however you have it set um, say for example you've sent a batch of bottles along your bottling line um, you would then use your input one to reset your counter and it will start again from zero for your next batch of bottles 
Okay, everybody, just a short one today. Thank you for watching Use My Box, and you'll see you again on another video soon. Bye bye.